Hey guys, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian, and it's trash panda treasure box time again. If you're watching this video, then that means that you picked the marionette to be your kind of big craft this time. So let's take a look, see what we got in our boxes and how to put that guy together. All right, let's take a look and see what we got. Six pom-poms, three rolly beads, glue dots, googly eyes, a beak felt, a needle, some fishing wire, and some glue. You should also have two craft sticks and the little brad that's gonna hold those craft sticks together. Um, and the first thing we're gonna do is take our small pom-poms and glue them to our medium-sized pom-poms. And these are going to make the feet of our bird marionette. Um, and as long as you let it glue, this tacky glue should be fine to hold everything together. Then we are going to glue our legs onto those feet. Same type of thing. A little bit of craft glue. And just make sure that you, you push down get that solid connection. One of your larger pom-poms is going to make the body for your marionette. And we want to glue those legs to the bottom. And you want to do them kind of equally apart on the bottom side. And again, as long as you let it dry, this should hold together just fine. Um, if you have a glue gun at home, you can certainly use that to do that. Um, but the tacky glue will work just as well too. All right, so we'll let that dry into place. And we are gonna turn our attention to the beak next. So I'm gonna cut a long shaped diamond out of my yellow felt. So a triangle on one side and then a triangle on the other side. And I'm gonna put some glue along the edges of one of those triangles. We're basically gonna kind of glue it together like that, which is gonna make the beak shape. So I'll put my glue on those edges. Smooth that out a little bit. Make kind of a big glop of glue there. And kind of just pinch it shut until it dries. And then I'm gonna take that same end that has the glue on it and I'm gonna affix it to our second large pom-pom, which is gonna be the head of our marionette bird. So find what you think is the front and we will glue that right into position. just kind of hold it in there for a little bit and then you can let it set for a while. What is a marionette without googly eyes? So we're going to attach those next. Um, just a little bit of glue. Just make sure to really push them in there. Hold that in place for a little bit. And the last bit of beading, that's going to be our neck. So we'll attach it kind of in between the legs on the top part of our body pom-pom and kind of down and back from the beak and the eyes on our head pom-pom. Now we're going to take our two craft sticks and there should be a very tiny hole halfway down in the middle of both of them and we're going to attach those together with the brad. You may have to push a little bit but it should slide in pretty easily and then we're going to push down those that pointy bit on the other the bottom side to hold it into place. And I'm gonna pause on this next screen for a little bit because basically this T shape is what's gonna control our bird. So the two yellow bits on mine are gonna control the legs and then the front side of the green will control the head and the body is gonna come up right to that brad in the middle. So we'll take one piece of our fishing wire. We're gonna start with the legs and I'm just gonna tie a double knot right by the bottom of the, the beads on the leg. And fishing wire is kind of tricky. You may need some help for this part from mom or dad, and that's okay. But make sure you get a good double knot and pull it really tight so it doesn't even think about unknotting itself.
And then I'm going to take the other end and I'm going to secure it to um, this yellow. Just make sure whatever leg you're using. So left leg goes to left side of your kind of control control T there made out of craft sticks. Um, and you can double knot it. If it starts sliding away from you, that's what I put the glue dots in for. So you can kind of glue dot the wire into place and then tie it. I am also going to make a little cut in the end of my craft stick that I can pull the wire through just as another way to kind of help it stay in place. When you're doing the same thing for the other leg, you just want to make sure that the fishing line, the two pieces for the right and the left leg are the same length. Um, so that these, when you make your bird walk, it will look about the same on each side. And again, same thing, I'm going to secure it in place with the glue dot, I'm going to tie a double knot, and then I'm going to make an incision on the end of the craft stick to tuck that wire through. And then we are going to be ready for the head, where we want the wire to come right up to the end of that green craft stick. And this one you're going to use the fishing wire and you're going to string it on your needle just like a piece of thread. Because we want it to come from the middle of the head and the best way for that to happen is to kind of sew it right through that pom-pom. So here we go, my needle and thread, except it's fishing wire, and I'm going to go in right by the beads that are the neck and make sure that that point comes out right at the top of the head. If you've got the one end double knotted, it'll stay down there by the neck and not pull all the way through. And then you can make sure it's about the same distance as the legs. I'm going to make that little incision again, use a glue dot again, all of that, and fasten that headpiece. And we're basically going to do the same thing to fasten the body piece to the middle of your T-shape. So I'm going to use the needle, go up through the middle of the pom-pom just like we did for the head, except instead of fastening it to the end of one of the craft sticks, I'm going to fasten it uh, in the middle. And then here is the true test going to trim those ends and I'm going to pull up with my control T here um, and see what we've got going on. Um, and I will be honest, the first time I did this, my legs were crossed, so I had to undo those and redo them. So don't feel bad if you need to remeasure the length of one of your strings. Um, but this is going to be <laughs> your marionette. Um, you can control its head, and you can control its legs. And I am not the best at <laughs> using these guys, but I'll see if I can't kind of make it walk for you. Uh, the more practice you do, the, <laughs> the better at it you'll get. Um, but I do think these are super fun. All right, guys, thanks for following along. I hope to see you back next month for another Trash Panda treasure subscription box. Have a good month, guys.